Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to install VirtualBox with its extension pack on your Mac computer and most importantly I'm gonna show you the post installation configurations that you need to do on your Mac computer so that when you create virtual machines in VirtualBox these virtual machines can integrate fully with your Mac computer. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It only takes a second, it is free, and it will help my channel greatly. At the time of this video, the latest version of VirtualBox is 7.0, and I'm using here macOS Ventura 13.5. But the instructions I'm gonna show you will also apply to other VirtualBox versions and other macOS versions, as long as they are compatible with VirtualBox. So let me switch to my Mac computer to show you all this. So this here is my macOS computer. The first thing you need to do is to open the settings application so that to make sure that you are allowed to install applications outside of the App Store. So let's open the settings application. And in the settings application on the left, make sure that privacy and security is selected. And then scroll until you find something called security. And under security, make sure that App Store and identify developers is selected so that you can install applications outside of the App Store. We don't need the settings application anymore. Let's close it. And let's open the web browser that you're using on your macOS computer. In the web browser, go to virtualbox.org. In virtualbox.org, we need to download two things. The first one is the installation program of VirtualBox, and the second one is the extension pack. Let's start by downloading the VirtualBox installation program. So click on download in the middle of the screen. And here choose macOS and VirtualBox at the time of this video is only available for macOS Intel hosts and the download will begin. Let's scroll down to download the extension pack now. And you notice here that you have VirtualBox extension pack. So click on all supported platforms and it will also be downloaded. So now we don't need the web browser anymore. Let's close it and let's go to the downloads folder. So click on finder. And in Finder, click on Downloads. And these are the two files downloaded. So first, we need, of course, to install VirtualBox. To do this, you need to double-click VirtualBox, this one here, .dmg. So double-click on it. And here, under one, double-click on VirtualBox.package. And here, simply follow the prompts to install VirtualBox. So let's click on Continue. And then click on Install. And here, you need to provide your password. And then click on Install Software after you put your password. So now VirtualBox is installed. Let's click on close. And because it was installed, it will ask you if you wanna clean up and it will delete the DMG file that we just downloaded. So let's clean it up. Click on move to trash. And now we need to launch VirtualBox so to install the extension pack. So VirtualBox now you'll find it under finder always. Click on applications. And here it is VirtualBox, double click on it. And here's VirtualBox running. To install the extension pack, you need to click on the menu here and then click on extensions. And under extensions, click on install. You will receive this message asking you to allow VirtualBox to access the downloads folder. Click on OK. So select the Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack that you just downloaded. And then click on open. And then click on install. So this here is a license agreement. Feel free to read it and then scroll until the end and then click on I agree. Here also you need to provide your password. And now the extension pack is installed. If you want to return to the main menu, of course, you click here and then you click on welcome. And here you can create virtual machines and manage your virtual box installation. Now that virtual box and the extension pack are installed, let me show you the post installation configuration that you need to do so that the virtual machines that you're gonna create in VirtualBox will be integrated fully with your Mac computer. So go to the settings menu and under settings on the left, click on privacy and security and then click on accessibility. And here you need to add the VirtualBox application. So click on plus, put your password, and then here you need to choose VirtualBox under Applications. So scroll until you find it. And here's VirtualBox, select it. And then click on Open. And here it is added and the toggle is to On. So now click on Back. 
and always under privacy and security click on input monitoring and here we need to do the same thing so we need to add virtual box so click on the plus sign and then scroll until you find virtual box select it and also here click on open so this message here is because i left virtual box open simply click on quit and reopen so this way it will quit virtual box and it will enable the toggle here and when you receive this message simply click on ok if you have any questions or comments feel free to put them in the comments section below and i'll be happy to answer all your questions and all your comments i hope that this video was useful to you in case it was please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it i want to thank you all for watching i'm eloy from knowledge sharing tech See you in the next video.